So today I will be sharing with you two new items that I have made. And the first one is McCall 7967. And this is a dress that I made. I made view D. And that is the one that has the little gathering around the sleeve area. Now I did mess up on this dress. And I will tell you about that in a second. But first let me share with you this color. I love this color. It's like a rust kind of color and I purchased this fabric from Joann's it is a little like a stiff kind of knit it I think it is a crepe I'm not sure but it I think so it's a little sturdy you know it doesn't have a whole whole lot of stretch um, but I was able to make this dress just fine um, it is a little long and it's really simple it's just a slip over dress it only has three pieces so it is an easy make i would say and the way i messed up is with the neckline so i did a surge around the neckline which actually stretched the neck band stretched this neck area out really horribly and so i decided to cut off the little wavy band that i created from making the surged edge and then i used steam a seam seam a steam S seam a steam i think and i used a quarter inch width and then i just you know put that around the edge and folded the edge over but it's still not laying as flat as i would like it to lay so uh, womp womp but i will still wear it and yeah i'm so I'm so not I'm not so happy with that outcome but otherwise the dress is fine now what I did for the hem because I realized I had the problem you know just surging it at the top so at the hem edge I used this product that I recently found out about and it is called um, heat and bond and let me grab that okay so this is the product that I purchased and I just got this from Joanne fabrics and it's heat and bond soft stretch light I really like this and you just iron it on kind of the same way you do the steam -a seam you just iron it down and then you um, wait for it to cool off you peel the paper off and then you fold it up and then it really helps to stabilize the knit hem so I like that I'm really happy to learn about this product and like I said it's easily um, found at Joann's of course and you can get it online if you um, choose to purchase it there but yeah that is that and then i will go ahead and share with you my second make okay so my second make is a pair of pants or culottes or um, shortened cropped pants and this is simplicity 8175 and i made these out of a very sturdy knit i'm um, knit denim denim fabric i used some scraps for the pocket so I like that even though nobody can see it, but I love using my scraps whenever I can. So yeah, I use that for the pockets inside. And then um, it has a, an invisible zipper in the back. So that part is pretty nice. And um, that's it, it's really all to it. It has a couple of darts. There are two darts in the back. There aren't any in the front and that's it. And I didn't have any problems, you know, with this. It was pretty simple to put together. Um, the only thing that I would do differently if I ever made these again is I would go down a size. I think they are a little too big on me. Um, but yeah, that was nothing to do with the pattern. That was just me. So yeah, but I will still wear these. I'm looking forward to it. So um, that is this make. And I will go ahead and show you what these two garments look like on.
so those are the two garments that I've made recently and before I go I want to leave you with a love share so one thing I learned recently is that you can get keys made or keys copied at several places and I was familiar with getting them done at a grocery store but I didn't know that you can get them done at some Rite Aid drug stores and also at some Bed Bath & Beyond stores I had no idea and then I recently learned about an app and it's called the key me app and what you can do there is you can scan the key that you would like to have copied or made you can scan it into the app and then you can from the app find a kiosk that's near you and you can go to the kiosk and actually have the key printed out there or you can have the key mailed to your home or wherever you'd like it mailed and then you can also scan that scan key you can also send that key scan to like a friend or a family member and they can do the same thing and go somewhere and get the key made up so that they can have a set to your whatever house or whatever you want them to have a key to so yes i thought that was so cool so i wanted to share that with you so thank you so much for watching and you will see me in the next video yeah.